everybody. Thanks a lot for joining me today in Jill's Cookery. First of all, I want to introduce my apron. It's getting to be springy and I am wearing uh, Sweet Peas. And I'll give you the link to my apron company uh, that I use uh, down below. Now, today I am making some really delicious moist orangey muffins. Um, they're just such a a bright touch of citrus that you will love for morning or for tea and I would like to get started so why don't you come on down and I'll show you a few things that you're going to need uh, first of all you should have a muffin tin and it can either be lined with paper cup, cups that you can get in your baking department these are silicone which are wonderful because the muffins just pop right out and if you don't have either of these you can just lightly uh, oil your muffin tin so you will need that to make muffins. All right, we're gonna start with the dry ingredients and move to the wet. I have some uh, unbleached uh, flour here, some granulated sugar, sometimes it's called white sugar. I have a little bit of salt, uh, some baking powder, and a little tiny bit of baking soda. And then for the wet ingredients, I have some orange juice concentrate. Now this is what you buy in your freezer department where other you know, juice concentrates are, are sold and it's just the concentrate. I defrosted it and no water has been added to that. I have some plain fat-free uh, Greek yogurt. I have a couple of eggs. And then this is actual orange juice. You could use bottled orange juice or you could squeeze your own and then a little bit of vegetable oil. All right, so what I'm going to do here in my bowl is I'm gonna make a little well, and I'm going to add the sugar. That's, I believe, three quarters of a cup of sugar, a little bit of salt, and I will give you all those measurements so you know them, and there goes the baking powder and the baking soda. And I'm going to mix this up And make sure everything is you know pretty well mixed in there we don't want any pockets of salt or baking powder or baking soda all right that looks very good to me now I'm going to make a well and I'm going to start putting all of these ingredients in that well and they will all be mixed in together which is a very convenient recipe I like there goes the orange juice concentrate oh and that gives it such a tart orangey I mean, my mouth just waters thinking about that. In goes the orange juice and the eggs. And it's good, it's always good to have your eggs at room temperature when you're going to bake. And then some of the vegetable oil. All right, now I'm going to take a spoon and it's really just a matter of mixing these all together. And as I always say when I I'm showing you how to make a quick bread, which is something that has baking powder or baking soda, not you know not something that would have yeast in it. You you don't want to beat it like you would you know a cake or something. You want to just get those ingredients well combined. And as you can see, there's no more flour in here. It's all all mixed in. And mm, oh my gosh, does it smell so delicious. It smells so, so beautifully orangey. All right, now I am going to get my muffin tin out and my oven has been preheated now to 350 degrees. I'm going to bring my muffin tin in and you may have noticed that I have one paper cup here and the rest are my silicone cups. I've got one that's just missing in action. I have no idea what happened to it. It's gone. So I just, uh, you know, I just used the one. All right, I'm using a quarter cup measuring cup. And that's usually just really a good size to add your, um, your dough to your cups. See, they're about three quarters of the way full and that's what you like. Too much more and then, you know, it can be too much over the top. So we're just going to put in three quarters of a cup and I'm gonna keep working on this. And when we come back, I'll show you the full tin and we will get started to put it in the bag. So I'm going to continue filling these cups, as I said, about three quarters of the way full. And when I am done, 
I'm going to bring you back to the panel before and I'll show it to you before we go into the oven. So we'll be back soon. All right, I have all 12 in there and I happen to have enough dough here, I think, for another two or three muffins. So I'm just going to tuck that into the refrigerator and when these muffins are out, I can... Um, I can cook the rest of that batter. So I'm going to put these into my 350 degree oven. They're going to cook 15, 18 minutes. I have a convection oven and of course all ovens vary in temperature. But we will do that toothpick test where you put your toothpick down through the center of the muffin and if the you know toothpick comes out clean, that means that that is done and cooked beautifully. So we will be back. Oh wow, look at these beautiful muffins. I'm going to break one of these open here. Look. Mm, look at that beautiful crumb in there. Look at that. These are so beautiful. And we're going to take a taste of them right now. Are you ready to try this? Yeah, nice. I'm ready to do what I do best. There you go. Now just wait. I gave you the big, I gave you the small piece. It's got to have the big piece. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'll probably eat a half a dozen. <laughs> That's true. You probably will. Do you smell that orange in oh, there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't Smells wait. Mm. They are so beautifully uh, textured, aren't they? He doesn't care about the texture. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's so good. Mm. That's so good. The orange. Oh yeah. First of all, the texture is amazing. It's just, it's moist, it's mm. tender. It's. I'm trying to get that in there for you. It's not mushy though. No mush. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Wow. That is delicious. Serve those warm with about a quarter of a pound of butter on each no, one. No, no, <laughs> no. But no, with a cup of tea or oh, coffee, yeah. I mean, this is delicious, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, these no. are such, oh, these are so good. You can make those every day of the week. They're moist, but not mushy, like mm -hmm. you said. Mm, mm. Well, it's too bad we can never get... Uh, what? Uh, cornbread to come out. Mm -hmm. like this would be, be great? a great mm. texture for cornbread. It would. Cornbread's cornbread a tough one. is always so dry. It's a real tough one. But you know what the problem is? I think you look at this and you mm. think cornbread because it's orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or yellow. The smell is just the aroma. The aroma is yeah, so wonderful. Smell. Yeah. Mm. No, the aroma. Mm. They just smell divine. Yes. This Surpassed is, only by the taste. You have got to try these. It is such a wonderful muffin, and I will put the uh, the recipe and um, mm. you know description down below in the in the comments section. And um, they are they're amazing and well worth the little bit of time it takes to put them together. And of course, the ingredients you know are so simple to those pull, are really pull outstanding. I'm so glad you like yeah, those. Yeah, oh, I do. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming into Jill's Cookery today, and I hope you'll come back. And thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>